So former diplomat Charles Parton, the Chinese communist leader Xi Jinping has visited France and Serbia and is now in Hungary. Why is he making a visit to these three countries now? Well, uh, for two of them, there are sort of uh, the overt reason that it's anniversaries. So it's the 60th anniversary of, the f of relations being founded between France and China, and it's the 75th of, of, of Hungary. Um, uh, and of course, you know, those, those countries are, are important to China. France is, is a big power in Europe. It's a big uh, trade and investment partner. But if you look at Hungary and Serbia, I mean, Serbia is a very staunch ally of China in, in, in Eastern Europe, and it's also very close to Russia, which China is too. So it's sending a message to Russia that not to worry too much about um, Chinese relations with Europe. Uh, and of course, Hungary is, uh, as many people would describe it, the Trojan horse of China within the U European Union, uh, very much on, on, on China's side in, 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 all, in all its actions. Uh, and so it's a reward, as it were, for Hungary and, and, and Serbia for their loyalty to the Chinese cause. And tell me about communist China's ties with Russia. Well, I, I, they are uh, increasingly close, I would say. Uh, I mean, it's really it's the other side of the coin that China is. I, I would say that the, the basis of its uh, and the underlying basis of its r r um, foreign affairs is a deep anti-Americanism. Uh, and so if you're against America as Russia is, then you're on the side, on the same side as the Chinese. So um, we've seen, I think they've had between the two leaders, 42 meetings over the, the last few years. It's, it's a close relationship um, built, of course, as relationships between countries are very much on each side's own particular interests. Uh, and China, of course, is very much the senior partner in this Russia frankly, is heading towards becoming a Chinese vassal state, really. Um, in terms of Xi Jinping's visit to Europe, what are his motives behind it? Well, beneath beneath the sort of the you know, overt reasons for, for, for coming, I think the motives are, one could describe them as, uh, again, in line with that anti-Americanism I talk about just, just now, uh, it is to try to uh, ensure that Europe has a... Uh, an independent foreign policy from China. I mean, Xi Jinping always goes on about this multipolar world. He doesn't want a, a world in which America is, 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 is the big pole and, 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 and the Europeans tend to follow the American lead. So France has always uh, talked up its independent foreign policy. And I think Xi Jinping has been there trying to, to encourage that. And, and he and, and, and his foreign minister earlier have said, in effect, precisely that. So that's one thing. Uh, the other thing I think that, that that he's quite keen to do is to uh, keep Europe divided. For all that, that he says, we, we favour a strong Europe. I don't think he really does. And finally, I, as ever with, with, with Xi Jinping uh, and the Chinese Communist Party, here is a message to the people of China. Look, here is our, uh, our president, our general secretary, striding the world stage and, and being given rapturous welcomes, particularly in, in Serbia and, and, and uh, Hungary, where um, flag-wearing crowds turned out and um, the local authorities made sure that there weren't any um, unfortunate banner, banners about Tibet or Uyghurs or human rights questions. Um, and that will play very well on, on, on the um, central television programs and and in the media in China. Well, former diplomat Charles Parton, thank you so much for joining us. I appreciate it.